Hello everyone, today I had an amazing idea. Now I'm going to put it into video form, edit it, and you. Yes, you, short one in the back wearing the green shirt, yeah, you. You are going to laugh. Now, what you are about to see is a video dramatization of a fight that I had my friend with my friend around last week sometime. It doesn't really matter because yeah, I wasn't really her friend that much anymore. Friends grow apart. So let me start off by saying I myself am not a Christian. I'm actually very much the opposite. As for this whole video and for what actually happened, my arguments are based on what I picked up from some of my friends and what I've learned in the past. That's where my knowledge comes from, so I'm sorry if I'm wrong about something. Just comment below if it's like really that big of a deal. Now, I will explain more about this argument. I was texting, um, let's call her Joba. I was texting Joba. And we were talking about our lives and what was new in them. Eventually we got on a topic about our friend. And I told her about how most of my friends are Christians. And how they seem to disapprove my music taste. And then she proceeded to start this argument by saying, Cam, I'm a Christian too. No you aren't, Jobo. Just because you believe in a higher power doesn't make you a Christian. You don't go to church. You don't pray to God. Honestly, I bet you don't even know what the Lord's Prayer is. Tell me, what is the Lord's Prayer? It totally goes like this. Now I lay me down to sleep. Pray the Lord my soul to take. If I die before I wake, pray the Lord my soul to take. <sighs> Are you serious? Wow. That is not the Lord's Prayer, Jobob. That is part of the Chorus of Enter Sandman by Metallica. That is not the Lord's Prayer. I'm sorry. Just, that is not it. Well, you obviously don't know what you're talking about. This is the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven, etc. Yeah, that one. You are not a Christian if you haven't learned that. Like, seriously, that's the basics right there. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Have you even read the Bible? No, it's boring. Like, what the hell? Then? I don't need to read it. I am a Christian. As you can see, after that leg of the thing, I decided, hey, maybe I can get through to her by proving that she's a hypocrite. Because, well, obviously people seem to realize they're doing something wrong if they're a hypocrite, right? So, I decided to try and call her out as a hypocrite by using her morals and what she actually believes is right and wrong, so... I said this. So, if you're a Christian, tell me, what are your morals? What do you believe? What? What's a moral? Here, I'll give you mine. My morals are not drinking, not having sex, not taking drugs, not doing illegal things like that, not allowing myself just to be stepped on freely like a doormat. I, I stand up for myself. Oh, and a huge moral? I stay true to what I'm saying. I am not a hypocrite. Are you getting this? <sighs> Kim, honestly, if you really loved someone, wouldn't you like to want, want to like share everything with them, like even your virginity? No, Joe Bob. I've never had sexual interest in another person. At least I can say that and actually be honest about it. Kim, you're wrong. You just don't get it. No, Joe Bob. You don't get it. Your faith says that you're not supposed to have sex before you're married. That's what it says. Sure, you may love someone and want to share everything with them, but that's going against your faith. You're not supposed to do that. Oh, and another thing, your faith says the world is going to end. No, it doesn't, Kim. I'm going to live my life how I want to. It's not like I'll be here for the end of the world anyway. Yes, you will. Your faith says that three women were given the prophecy to see the birth of the last 
generation to Walker. You know when they all died? In the 90s. You are one of the last generations to walk the earth. Maybe not the exact one. But yeah, your faith says that you will see the end. Read the Bible. This is what it says. You haven't read it. You don't know anything about your faith. You don't know anything about what you're even talking about. If you read it, it'll fill in so many gaps and you'll understand how much of a hypocrite you really are. You're just a fake. You don't even know anything about your own faith. Kim, stop talking. Just shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. You're wrong. You know what? I think I'm right. I think you're a hypocrite. And I think that you can't handle being wrong. Is that it? Is that really all that you're after here? To be right? No! You're wrong! A hypocrite is someone who says McDonald's is like totally gross. Which it is. That's why I never eat it. it it's just like, disgusting. And, and then they go out and eat it anyway. That's what a hypocrite is. <sighs> That's not quite right, Joe Bob. A hypocrite can be that. But a hypocrite can also be, be someone who says that they know what they're talking about, who thinks they're right, and honestly a hypocrite normally when they're trying to prove someone wrong or prove that they're right, they won't even give the other person time to breathe, let alone to share their opinion. A hypocrite is what you are. You say you know what you're talking about, but you won't even listen to me. Another reason why I say that you're such a hypocrite Oh yeah, that's right. In the Bible, it says that God is against you doing things like underage drinking, taking drugs, having sex crimes. He's quite, quite against that. You have to read the Bible to understand what you're talking about. No, it doesn't, Kim. I read it and it doesn't say anything like that. <sighs> you just told me that you haven't read the Bible because it's boring and useless to you. I'm sorry, but you are such a hypocrite. You just told me that you haven't read it and now you're saying that it isn't in the Bible and that you know for sure that he hasn't said anything against it. Just, oh my God. You believe that you're a Christian. You're not. <sighs> you do so many things that go against the Bible. It's mind blowing, man. I'm sorry, it just is. In fact, I don't even have, like, words to describe, like, how much you go against everything. The only thing I can really use to sum up what you do is calling you a hypocrite. I can't believe you anymore. I'm sorry, you're just such a hypocrite. No, I'm not! I'm not a hypocrite. You are! You're the one who's a Satanist and who's read the Bible. I call that hypocritic. No, I'm not. I'm just telling you what I know from the Bible. I'm telling you what I have picked up from my friends. I'm telling you what truth I know. I'm not just making a bunch of crap up like you are. Please, please tell me how that makes me a hypocrite. Kim, it just does. I'm ending this part of the conversation now. So just shut up. <sighs> Why don't we just end this entire conversation? I think that would make my life much, much easier. Goodbye, Jim Bob. Cam? Cam? What? Hello. Hello? Okay. So that's how it went, and um, that's actually why I'm kind of happy I'm not talking to her anymore, because, well, she's kind of annoying. Anyways, thank you for watching, and have a nice day. Oh, and remember to follow me on Twitter. Yeah. Goodbye. Oh my god, I feel so weird wearing this. Oh god, so I hate this persona.